What's up traders? It's Mark here at Dino Trading coming at you with today's video recap on the E-mini futures. Look at these two days, man. Back to back days. Here was the previous session and here is today's session. And <laughs> I don't know who these people are that are constantly shorting the market. I see all these clowns on TV and CNBC talking about, you know, market's going to sell off, Dow's going to crash 50%. And listen, all those things may happen. They, 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 that could all be true. But I don't know why people listen to the noise, right? Every time I do these video recaps for you guys, I try to come on here and give it to you straight. And you've always heard me say this charts don't lie doesn't matter what chart like this happens to be you know a, a, an e-mini futures chart but i could show you a stock chart here's tesla from today look at the volume staying green for what is this 50 dollars a share jesus right so what i feel should be crystal clear to you guys by now is Volume is something that is kind of like the holy grail, all right? It's not a 100%, you know, bet the farm on, on, on any one play, okay? But it is definitely something that you need to be taking a look at, all right? And for those of you guys who don't know what is the volume market profile or you have no idea what I'm talking about, then I put a link in the description below on a video I did last week, or it might have been two weeks ago, where I take you guys on a very deep, immersive experience on understanding the truth around market profile. There's a lot of garbage and noise out there on market profile. I mean, all you have to do is go to google.com, uh, type in market profile, and you're going to see dozens, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of different takes of volume analysis okay and I can't say that all those guys are wrong I can't say all those guys are right everybody has their own theory on what they want to do with volume analysis right now I've come up with what I think is a pretty interesting take like this is my version of market profile I simply turn the volume band green when it's time to go long and I turn the volume band red when I think it's time to go short Okay, so you can agree or disagree with my theory or anybody else's theory, okay, on market profile, but what you cannot disagree with is the chart display. Like I said a few moments ago, guys, charts don't lie. How many idiots do you think there were out there last week, the week before, even today? How many idiots do you think came in here and tried to short the S&P 500 E-mini futures when it so crystal clearly and obviously was green. And as I explained, it's not unique. This, this analysis, guys, of volume TPO profiles, okay, it's not unique to the futures markets. It's going to work on Forex. Uh, I've already shown you it works on stocks pretty well. I mean, this is, this is an actual chart, guys, of Tesla stock from today. All right, you can see the symbol here in the top left. TSLA is the symbol for Tesla stock. And look at this astronomical gain, right? We had a little bit of chop, you know, somewhere in the middle of the session here. But you can see that a little bit after lunchtime, boom, it turned green. And I don't know, maybe Tesla's going to keep ripping into tomorrow's session, right? You can only trade what you see, guys, all right? So... What I want you to take away from watching this video is two things. Number one, stop telling yourself that you're smarter than the market. You're not. I'm not. Nobody is. Okay, well, maybe the guys at Goldman Sachs might be smarter than the market because they are the market. You know, these Blackstone groups or BlackRock uh, investments, like all these, you know, all these hedge funds, institutionals, players we can't compete with them because they are the people that are creating these astronomical gains when they want to get in at the market guys you better be trading alongside of them 
not against them. Because if you tried to short the market either in the previous session or, or certainly in today's session, you got your face ripped off. And you got your face ripped off multiple times a day. Right? I don't feel sorry for anybody who tries to counter trend trade. I really don't at this point. You guys kind of know me. I give it to you straight. If you are a counter trend trader, you're probably never going to find success. All right? And I know that's not a nice thing to say, but I'm not really trying to be nice. I want to show you guys how to find you know, success, how to improve your percentages, how to participate in these types of moves. Basically taking advantage of retail traders and complete morons who don't know what the heck they're doing and who spend their whole lives trying to counter trend trade, right? You don't want to be in that segment of the trading population. Trust me, you don't want to be in that segment. I mean, I don't know, half of you guys might already be there. I mean, I don't know. But listen, guys, here's the takeaway, all right? I've come to the conclusion that volume profile works really well. Um, I'm Listen, I'm in the camp that I think the market is going to sell off at some point, but I don't try to pretend to be smarter than the market and try to front run that event. Could happen next week, could happen next month. Listen, the market could sell off next year. We could, we could see 5,000 or 10,000 on the S&P. Nobody knows. Right. I mean, we're we're knocking on forty four hundred right now. You know what I'm saying? All those idiots who's, who, who said four thousand was the top. They're sitting on a 10 percent loss, significant losses if they've been shorting it since four thousand. You know what I mean? So anyway, the moral of this video, guys, is follow the trend. I mean, what, what else can I really say? Right. Follow the trend. Look for ways to limit your risk. You don't want to get killed on any one particular trade. Uh, try your best to get to break even when the market moves in your favor, right, by a couple of bars. Uh, the way that I teach my customers is a very, very interesting take on risk management. Not a lot of people know how to do it properly, but it's very effective. So if you're fed up with dealing with these Japanese candlestick charts and your MACD and your Bollinger Band garbage, uh, feel free to get in touch, guys. I'm happy to hook you up with a free one-on-one -on -one demo on how the market profile um, add-on works and what it can potentially do for you to transform your trading you know again there's no guarantees in trading I think all of you guys out there are smart enough to recognize that fact but what you can do what you are more than capable of doing is stacking the odds in your favor using volume to potentially predict turning points and using volume to squeeze every single dollar out of a huge trend. Guys, that's how you win. That's how you find success over the long term. And more importantly, that's how you bring consistency into your trading. All right. Thanks for watching this video, guys. See you on the next trade.